welcome back to Roto City Tech. Today I wanted to do a little install video on a new shower head. Now we don't have any complaints necessarily about the current shower head, but I know in the Wolf Pup we replaced the stock one with an Oxygenix shower head and it increased the flow and it actually uses a little bit less water. Pretty sure it's something about it kind of like uses aeration where it makes more pressure out of less water. So we're going to get a better shower and use less water. You're watching Roto City Tech. Let's do this. I don't really have a good way to test this, but I guess what I can do is we've got about a third of tank in our fresh water. I can just turn it on and show you the stream before and then we'll look at it after the install. Let's get a look at the current shower head. Here is our new shower head by Oxygenix. I believe I bought this on Amazon, link in the description below. But this is the Fury RV, model number 92789. This says 1.8 gallons per minute. I'm not sure what the stock one does, but we've got flow control, which also that one had. That's the thumb button. And then five different settings. So, uh, Non-slip rubber grip, articulated handle for custom angles, 72 inch hose included, pill and stick, 3M tape. Now if I remember correctly on the Wolf Pup I simply used I believe the stock uh, hose and just used the sprayer here. So I don't know, we'll get this opened up, we'll take a look. Um, oh, so here we go. Powered by Oxygenix engine. Oxygen spray setting works like a mini turbine jet, infusing the water with oxygen to expand each drop and significantly increase power. So you will use less water while enjoying more skin revitalizing benefits. Got a little picture here. So it's got a pressure chamber and it sucks in water to boost the water pressure. So yeah, aerator. Pretty cool. Amplifying technology, oxygen infused water. All right, well, let's see what it does. Let's get her opened up. I haven't even opened this up. Not only is Roto City Tech an installation channel, but we get to do our own unboxings. If I can unbox it that is oh. really need a knife so here is our handle Guess and that's the little thumb switch, the flow control. That's better than the push button that's on the current one. And we get to adjust the different sprays. So that will definitely be better. Now let's take a look and see if we need to do any of this stuff. So it comes with a little mount wall mount holder so you get some uh, adhesive or some screws depending on what you want to do and of course you have your new hose washers pre-installed in the hose end okay so I believe you don't even need anything really to do this installation but we'll check it out We are experiencing this at the same time. I 
Thoroughly clean the area where the wall mount is to be applied. Remove covering from one side of adhesive strip supplied with wall mount installation. Apply adhesive strip to the back of the wall mount. Remove covering from adhesive strip applied to the back of the wall mount. Press wall mount firmly to cleaned area on shower wall for 30 seconds. Remove back covering from dome sticker. So there's a little dome sticker here that says Oxygenics. And place it in the insert so it goes to cover that screw hole, I guess. What's pretty cool, I guess, is if you look at the stock system, I'm pretty sure that I can just take out the existing screws in this holder, use those holes, and mount my new stuff. Now, the simplest thing to do, and you could do it if you wanted, is just take the new nozzle, put it on there. If you wanted, you could. You could just take the hose, unscrew the existing sprayer, and take your new one. Put it on. And that's it. But, we have the new hose, we have the new mount here, so I think we might as well just put on some new stuff and see how that works. It's a little bit higher quality hose, I believe. So we're gonna go ahead and install at least the new hose and we'll see about this mount. So all you need to do is take off your nozzle and then you go down here to the bottom of your faucet and all you do is unscrew that. And then your new hose will simply slide through that bracket and then there you are. You are done with that hose. Simply take your new hose, slide it through that bracket, and then screw it on down here. So these come pre-installed with the washers already. So that's what these stickers are on there for, to keep that washer from falling out. Remove that sticker. Make sure the washer's in there, nice and flush. And then let's test out and see if that's any different. So y'all just saw me unscrewing those two screws for this holder. So unfortunately, right along the edge, you can see this is all silicone. Obviously it's a shower. So when they mounted it, they put a bead of silicone around there to seal it because you, since you drilled the holes. So, <clears throat> unless I wanted to reapply silicone, which I don't know if it's worth it just for that, I may just use the existing one. I mean, why not? It's there and it fits. Why fix it if it ain't broke, I suppose. This one seems to fit a little better oh, as far as being secure, but I don't believe that is gonna fall out going down the road. Not a huge deal to just lay it down. Uh, if I really wanted to, I could install this and put a bead of silicone around it. And I might even have some here at the house, but let's go ahead and check this out and see how this sprays. 
compare now once this hose gets a little warmed up it'll be a little more malleable but it looks like it's a little longer at least so you can yeah I think it's a little longer so you can at least get it up above your head where this hose it kind of struggled to really move it around enough to feel comfortable in the shower so but let's check it out So setting one looks to be like a full on shower. I mean, that's just, that is just way better. I don't know if you can see. There you go. Full on shower. And that adds a few more nozzles on the inside. That's a jet. And that also looks like some type of jet, but it's more thick. More of just the center. And that's it. So it looks like to me, these settings will be, the first three are probably going to be the most enjoyable. Now that's the only thing that maybe is not awesome. So it doesn't look like it seals all the way. Okay, so that's actually where it sits. Like if you were taking a shower. Dang. There you go. There's an install on Oxygenix Fury RV handheld shower head. So I'm still thinking about maybe installing that other piece, but I do think we're going to like this a lot more. It is spraying better. And you have five different selections. So anyways, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And check that link in the description below. As we're an Amazon associate, we do make some money off the qualified purchases. All right, y'all take it easy. I do need to make a correction. Found the instructions. Imagine that. So I said that it may be an issue with that cutoff not being, uh, not stopping the flow of water. Well, according to the directions, the flow control located in the back of the shower, the flow control regulator eliminates sudden blasts of water. Note. The flow control is not a shutoff valve. When turned to the lowest position, the shower head continues to flow. This is a normal safety feature. So there you go. All it is is three settings, low, medium, high, for your flow of water. That's it. So I guess it works perfectly. Also, the directions say to wrap plumber's tape. Now, in my experience with plastic on plastic with a washer, you don't really need plumber's tape for them to not leak. That one was not leaking where it was screwed on. If that becomes an issue, simply unscrew it, wrap some plumber's tape around it, and screw it back on. Hold me close till I get